In this Canva tutorial, let's take a look at how to add page numbers. Unfortunately, page numbers are not automatic in Canva, at least not at this time. So you have to add your own page numbers. Now it really depends on where you want the page numbers, how many pages you have, if you have an existing document, etc. If you don't have an existing document, then you could set it up with the first page. And you could press T for the type tool just to bring out some paragraph text, or you could grab some kind of stylized text from the uh, text bar over here on the left hand side. And you could bring out something like a heading. You could add in the number, like number one, kind of scale it down to the size that you want it and the style that you want it. You could, of course, do any changes up here with your font settings. But then once you have that, you can bring it down here and, and line it up. And then you can duplicate it by holding Option, that's Alt on Windows, and duplicate it out to the right-hand side if you would like. Now, if you can't quite find the same area where you had it lined up, like it doesn't lock into place, you could add guides if you wanted to. Or one quick trick, since we kept this lined up horizontally, we can just grab both these numbers, right or right click or go to this group button. And once we've made a group, if we move that group around, you'll see it lock into place right there where it locks into the center of the page. And so now you know that there's the exact space from the edge of the page on the left number and the right number because the group itself is centered. And so once you have that centered, you could ungroup it. So now we have these numbers here at the bottom. If you have pages existing in your document, you could just take these two numbers, select them both, copy by pressing Command C or Control C if you're on Windows, come down to this page, click on it, and press Command V or Control V to paste. And it actually pastes it in place. So now we've pasted that into the same spot as our original page. Now, if you have a page number that stays in the same location, then you don't have to create two numbers. But if you're creating a document where the page number will switch side to side, then you might need to decide which side that page starts on. So for instance, page one here, maybe it starts in the right-hand corner, so I would just delete out that first number or the number on the left. Page two here, it might switch over to the left-hand side, so I would put two over here and I would delete this one out. The only problem is I wanna make sure that I keep both those numbers in the copy-paste command, just in case I add more pages. So for the time being, I would make that the last thing I do, deleting out the numbers and changing the numbers. The other thing that we can do here, let's pretend that this is the first page you had and you just put a one and a one down here. After that, we can actually duplicate this page by clicking on this button right here. And so you can just keep duplicating the page and you don't actually have to copy paste those numbers in. Uh, so as long as the page is blank or it has the design template that you want. Anyway, so once we have uh, created all these pages, you can actually see the page number up here in the upper left of the page, and that tells you what page you're on. Now, unless your numbers don't follow that, this should be page number four. So I could look at that number to know which page I'm on and just quickly adjust the number down here. But yeah, like I said, unfortunately, it is a process of manually uh, typing in the page numbers here not sure why Canva doesn't have an actual uh, page number tool or anything like that. You might find some websites out there that acts like it does, but that's just AI generated content that pulls in tools from other programs and acts like Canva has them. Canva does not have a page number tool. Um, but honestly, my advice is it probably make it the last thing that you do. Uh, if it was the first thing, you could duplicate it to every page, but I, th I just think I would make it the last thing that you do is putting in a page number in your design and you can just copy paste it to each page. It'll paste right in place and you should be able to add page numbers pretty easily with just a little bit of tedious work here in Canva.